right, that's place at the right position. And now for my next trick. This should be getting power. Oh, and with the attack, we are shooting stuff. Nice. Okay, so this is the way we are going to dig up. We're using the auto excavator and powering it directly from above. Hopefully this one will not destroy machines. I think it shouldn't. And this is the way we're going to place um, stuff from all the way down at the bottom and bringing it all the way to the top. This is so nice. Getting attacked, so let's see how that goes. Should be fine, but still. It is on the way. The second wave is already incoming, apparently. And this one is still not going because this one still does not have enough energy to actually do stuff. But it will fire when it gets into range, I guess. Uh, so we can be attacked from one of the four corners. Uh, we got attacked from that one first, so it will probably be one of the other sides. Uh, for now, I think two guns with a auto excavate or a, a let's, let's get that thing out of the way. A pyro thermic generator will be enough, uh, but we will. Oh, this one actually did stuff. Or are you using power? Because I can see you used more coral than the other ones. Ah, it should be fine. It'll be fine. But you can see here... Oh, wow. That's very bright. Uh, you can see here a nice um, effect uh, going around the auto excavator. This is the place which will be completely dug out by the thing. So yeah, this is perfect. And after this one is complete, I will place it, I guess, over here somewhere. And dig another tunnel up or something else which is called the vertical extending central well it's a lift i'm going to use this lift and i need to power it from downstairs as well but that's going to be in actually do i need to power it it has oh as long as i keep the range within the 64 blocks or height or meters or whatever I do not need power down there, but I will want to extend it longer. So yes, I need power. And a different block, by the way. I will actually need the... Where is it? Personal. Drops, no. Crashing station. What was that? Oh, we can actually make that thing. Uh, we need the compressor. That's what we needed. Uh, yeah, that requires some stuff we don't have yet. So that's going to be fun. Did I hear something over here? I do not see any enemies. So I guess I did not hear anything. Oh, well. Probably some kind of machine which did things. So, uh, let's get this thing going, or keep this thing going. It looks like it is halfway already. And after that, we'll set it up next to it. And then we will hopefully bring up the other ore belt as well. Oh, there's the enemy. Kill! Another kill. And two more. So it's coming from this way. You can see it almost came uh, by the defenses. It's mostly because these things do not fire as quick. So that's why we mostly need more. Um, bam! The other one. Got killed by the spider bot, which has an insane range though. Uh, so that's why I have uh, two of the guns next to my base, just in case they fly past my defenses. Yeah, so let me um, continue up with some other stuff. I am upgrading this belt with, from the basic ones up to the um, normal ones. Because these uh, things are too slow. I need so much more tin at the moment than I need copper. Unbelievable. I just need... You go a little bit quicker with it. Oh! Ooh! 
I almost fell down. It is ready. The first shaft is all complete. Perfect. Oh, the crap. Oh, and we can... Uh, this thing also drops all the things. So we just got a lot of inventory, I think. Uh, that's a lot of coal. Yep, that's a lot of hemp rock. And I think also some rock. Yeah, perfect. Okay, you're done for now. Uh, so, we need to get you down more until we hit the, the place where the uh, uh, lithium is. But for now, I want you kind of er, here. Also, actually, I do want you lower already. So, uh, let me set that up. <laughs> I was afraid of this. So, I dug down more. Um, the shaft I'm trying to dig out is this. And I found something here. Let's see what it actually is. It is... Oh my god. The, it is tin? Yeah. Oh no, it's a coal vein. Again. Dang it. All those coal veins. Coal veins. What I can do here... I hope this is only one block. But I can shift right click. Uh, control right click. And super dig. Now, I do get coal from this, but I also am draining this node a lot in the hope I can remove it completely. I was not able to do that. What I can do actually here is because I've got a power line going up right above me, I can um, build myself up here and keep on mining. Which will take a long time. So uh, I guess I will, um, well, do this. Because I do want my shaft over here. Uh, it's going to be annoying though. Because I will have more coal here. It's not a problem yet. Only this block. Because that's my power line itself. Uh, it will be fine, I guess. It's a little, a little annoying though. But oh well. What can you do? Yeah, you can search for a different location. But it is fine. Huh. I hope my laser can actually reach the excavator from up there. I am almost there. Oh, I actually am there. Oh, nice. Um, made it. Uh, can I get... <gasps> I see the sparkles. If I can have the sparkles, I have the power. I hope. Go up in power. Go up in power. Yep, it's going up. Nice. I have the power. Nice. Okay. Well, we are down here at the big tunnel. Actually, this was an old tunnel, which I am going to close off with two blocks now. Apparently one because there was a torch in the way. There we go. We are now at minus 120. 121 to be exact. And we have... Almost no headroom, which I don't like. I really like my areas three wide. So the power is now coming up from the surface. So this one will be, uh, well, producing a lot. I might actually be able to make myself another... Excuse me. Uh, oh, there's the emergency siren, which I can't make yet, apparently. Um, can I make a power generator here? Oh, no, I can't. Uh, because there's an oxygen uh, down here, that thing also won't work. Which is uh, a little annoying, but should be fine. Now the service attack is going up. Well, that thing will just keep on going, I guess. But yeah, we will have power here and we have an elevator here pretty soon. This one goes all the way to the top now. Uh, I checked if we could and we can, so that is all mighty fine. I'm actually going to put a hopper here on vacuum. And remove vacuum. Uh, because this thing actually blocks drops. And when I'm not here, they will despawn. And now this one can actually harvest those blocks. This thing is going quite slow though. Let's give him a little bit of a power boost. There you go. Shoot them. Shoot them all. 
And there we go. That one got, got us one rock. So that one will just be blasting away for a little while. Uh, let me grab this uh, power block because I will need it. Uh, let me also grab some more lithium. Go back to the top. And then we'll hopefully make an elevator down here. Oh, that's not good. I think I just saw a tunnel bore. Oh, come on. Let me just... This. Flying right over there. Don't hope it's that one. There is still an attack going on. They are getting a little bit close with those tunnel bores. Might want to... No, that's a normal wasp. Shoot it. There we go. Let me go and see what's going up here. Might just need to harvest these trees. Oh, you are new. I'm quite sure of that. I knew that one. I'm quite sure you are new. But there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah. He's not going well. Um, For them it is. Uh, let me... No more attacks. I did see an ore scanner. What's going on? Do I have unknown stuff here somewhere? I do. Isn't this just wood? Is it cursed wood? Well, I removed some of it. We'll see in a moment what it is. Um... The soundscape is doing something weird, though. Uh, we'll check that later. Uh, right. Um, I am not that far from home, so let me just do this. Right, the tunnel bore is actually going. It might actually be done right about now. But let's see what we found. And then we can hopefully finally start on the smelting array I was going to do. What did we find? We found cloud tubes. Uh, massive tubes that contain fiber that could be useful. So that is, I guess, something we got in the inventory somewhere. I do not see it. We are getting actually a lot of random assortments of plants and items. Like the pristine and ruined stingers and all the kinds of chitin. Ruined and pristine ice, ruined and pristine uh, glands, ruined and pristine. Uh, yeah, we need somewhere to store those, which I will be doing in a moment. Uh, but first, oh wow, this one is very close. It is done, actually. Good, let's get this one going. Can I actually make the servo for this thing? Yet or not? Where are you again? I can never find certain things. Logistics. Uh, I guess it's there. I need more gears. I need more iron. I do not have the iron for it. Yeah, so let's just set up the smelting array at first. So what I want to do is bring all the ores up from one of these shafts. Probably this one, because I need the most straight one for my elevator. And I want to bring this up into a smelting array. But what I want to do is make a couple more energy storage blocks. Crafting. Make them all. And what I want to do is bring that up into one row of energy storage blocks. I want to power this uh, through one laser going out from my base right here. Uh, it might be better to just make it in one row, but well, we've got you here, we've got you here, we might as well build stuff right there, I guess. It'll be fine. It will just be some more charge coils, etc. to make everything nice and it doesn't... It isn't like we haven't got those uh, to spare yet. Oh, we need iron. Well, we are working on that at least. Right, so we are going to have the power there. Then we will have the horse ore smelters, which you actually can't speed up. Uh, we can uh, speed up the normal ore smelters with a cap on its head. We can't do that with these. These are also worse because they require four ores for one bar. But we are going to do stuff directly into here, which we can't do. So we need a 
Logistics, hopper, or no, not the logistics one. We need four, so this one stores two. We need four storage, so we need these. Uh, do we have them close? Yes, we do. I'm going to add these here, set these to remove only. And I'm going to set a big hopper, which we have there as an example for the pasting stuff. Like this. We're going to power this up. And we can see this one starting to heat up and this one will process all this sweet, sweet iron into ingots. We will need a second miner downstairs to bring this up to full speed. But for now, this is fine. So what I want to do after this one is I want more of the ore smelters here. I want here one for, well, I guess the uh, tin is right there. So we can put that one here. And then here I want the lithium and I think I want the copper right there. And from there we have the four resources and from there we can split them all up. So let me set this up. And with that one there, let's fill this up. And we're getting attacked again. Uh, we should have power. Yes, we have power. We already should have some iron here. Low power. Yes, yes, we know, we know, we know. Retrieve materials. Oh, I just added some iron to my inventory. Dang it, I didn't want to do that. Right, so we have some underground laser transmitters going from there to there to there. And we also have the copper ready to transform to this system. And the tin as well, the tin going above ground, the copper going underground, because, well, it's so easy to set up, why not? Also, it's all, of course, with the normal conveyors. The only thing we are missing now at the surface is the lithium. Um, we're actually kind of waiting on, until we have some more belts and other items. Uh, let's make some more belts. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing both now. There we go. Both are in. And we're making more belts. This small little thing works wonders, actually. I really like this small little setup. And this is also going. Uh, we do need a bunch of iron gears. We do need more of these. We need technically just more of everything. But we at least have the smelting going now. Oh, there are the enemies again. Uh, do I need to fill you up with energy already? No, I do not. You actually... Not running that out of cold that quickly. Not as quick as I expect, actually. It's good. Bam, bam. Two shots, two kills. They don't have that much HP, luckily. And they're dropping items, which you can do stuff with. Which I don't know yet. Well, actually, I know one of the things we can do. And actually, one of the things we might actually need to do. This one is filling up quite slowly. And it will... It is using about... You can see in the bottom left about 1.6 per second. Uh, the energy transfer systems we're using can transport 10. And with 4 going, uh, it is almost using the full capacity. So let's see if we can upgrade that. We need some more research for that. We can... Uh, we do not have it yet. We need... Um, this one. Well, these perfectly preserved animal parts we're finding. Maybe we can use it for something. Yes, we can. We can use it, for example, for... Something that isn't here. And Hello Kitties again. I will show some pictures of them at some point, probably. Can we already make the things I want to make? No. Uh, we might need laboratories for that then. Yeah, that's a thing for next episode. Uh, let's just get some other stuff. Agriculture, that is interesting, but I don't know anything about it. We've got some stuff here, which I'm not really that interested in. Induction chargers. Oh, that's a thing I do need, but we probably won't be able to get those yet. Uh, there we go. Organic lenses. And sorry for the noise in the background. The kitties are active and running around and fighting each other. We've got two. 
a little black one and a little bigger orange and white one and they're so cute when they're sleeping uh sorry that's what i said out loud didn't i oops there we go power transmission there we have the things so with the crude organic lens we can increase our power transmission by 25 percent crafting crafting let's go Use actually all of them because I don't really have another Crafting. use for those anyway. And let's add a lens to this one. You can now see it has a maximum transfer rate of 12.5. And also let's add another one to this one, which is somewhere about here. And now we have a total of 12 and a half power going to here. Now, we still have the laser over here. I think I'm going to move that down here because that is uh, makes my base a little cleaner. Uh, but yeah, we will have a central power line going down, which will probably even need to increase with more than one laser or with an upgraded version of the laser. Uh, but yeah, we now have a thing going all the way down there. Could we make the logistics? Lift compressor already. Lithium charge cells. We have them. Nice. Crafting. We can. Okay. Let's go down and see if we can do stuff with that. Ajiranimu! So you can see they're going up. I don't want to go up. I want to go down slowly. Ouch. Uh, this is the place where the iron smelting is going up. You can see this is the belt for the... Um, lithium eventually uh, but here we have the laser energy go transmitter going down for the which is going directly into the excavator at the moment I would like to grab you I cannot grab you I want that one a little moved over towards here so we can have a clean elevator shaft actually I want them up here. So let's go down quick and see if we can still grab that thing right there. Twenty-one. I am too low. Yes, I am too low. I think you are actually in there, aren't you? Yep, you are there. Nice. And the excavator. Beautiful. Alright. Let's go up. And that was a one shot. Uh oh. Ouch. Oh, no. It is not going well. It's going well. I'm here. Let's point you down. I do not have the bigger. Oh, I don't even have an energy storage block on me. That's not handy. Okay, so you're going there. We need to set up the lift, the elevator, which is a two by three block. And I also have, of course, the other thing here, which needs to go there. Let's go scroll through my inventory until we find it. There's the elevator. And we will add the lift compressor right there, which makes this thing go up longer or further. And let's add a basic energy transmitter right there. Right there. But now you should be getting power on a slow rate. You can only transfer 1.8, so that's not that much. But you do not need that much. But at least we're getting the energy to here at the moment. You can actually be upgraded with a lens, so you can transfer a little more power. Right. And you're going up now. Actually, I don't want you up. I don't want you up yet. You will stop right now. And now you will go down again. We need to set up a new height there. Uh, this one will only go up 64 now, but we want it to go up higher. A total of 121 to be precise. So let's set it up. You can see in the bottom left again the settings. So 121. With 121 set, and let's add the blocks a little bit. 
And now it should take us all the way to the top at once. We can set up, not set up uh, intermittent paths, but we can do something like that later. Perfect! We now got an elevator shaft and we don't have to use this drop shaft ever again. Beautiful. And let's help pick up this stuff. So yeah, with that, I think this will be the end of this episode. I hope it is not too long because I have been recording for about two hours and I have not done this in so long. I just hope it is not too long. Look, our iron. Beautiful. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you will join me for the next one where we will continue automating this stuff. I will get the copper uh, tin and also, well, the lithium will take some more work. So we'll do that in the episode. We'll at least get the first two items running through here. And from there we can start, well, making these production lines a little easier by in directly inserting stuff from the smeltery into this. But that's the task for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope you will join me for the next. Uh, have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.